What's up guys, it's the Sound Alchemist, and today we are traveling to the eastern fringes of the galaxy where we will learn about the armory and war gear of the alien auxiliaries of the Tau Empire. So pledge your allegiance to the greater good and get ready as we dive into these Xenos weapons. Whether they be mercenary crew, insectile vespids, or stranger beings such as the cargo hall in Ganache or the space-bound Yabi Yabi, the Tau military make use of many alien auxiliaries. The entrance into the greater good plugs strategic gaps in the Firecast's arsenal, as well as bolstering their numbers on the battlefield. Thus, many billions of aliens have been welcomed into the Tau Empire during its various spheres of expansion. So long as these varied alien races place the Tau foremost in their thoughts, Particularities of creed and culture are abided by the Tao. Over time, efforts are made to assimilate aliens into the Tao way of life, but it is for their unique skills in battle, engineering, manufacture, or the like that these auxiliaries are most highly prized. The Weapons of the Krut Krut use primitive slug throwers adapted by the Tao to fire pulse rounds. Some also fire sniper rounds, which have greater stopping power but must be reloaded between shots, making them cumbersome to wield. The Krut rifle also comes with blades attached to the muzzle and stock, a throwback to traditional Krut fighting staves. Their weapons include the Krut rifle and the Krut gun, a heavier version of the Krut rifle. The Krut gun is a heavier, more powerful version of the Krut rifle. Oftentimes, it is seen incorporated onto the back of the massive Krutox. The Krut rifle resembles the fighting staffs from long ago. Oftentimes, these rifles come incorporated with blades or daggers for close combat. Nowadays, the Tau have incorporated pulse rounds to be fired from these weapons. While Krut technology may be primitive, it is effective but some might argue that the Krut's best weapon is in fact their ability to adapt. The Krut oftentimes eat the flesh of the dead, and therefore may gain certain characteristics and abilities of those who have fallen. These abilities can range from psychic powers, to wings capable of flight, or even tougher, harder skin. The possibilities are endless with the Krut. The Vespid have embraced the Tau absolutely. Though insectile warriors who dart through the air upon winding wings, these Vespid have proven a valuable fast strike asset to the Firecast. They utilize a fusion of Tau technology and crystals to produce potent weapons. Yet, when these aliens were first approached by the Watercast, it seemed unlikely that they would ever submit to joining the Greater Good. Their mindset was freakishly different to anything the Tau could understand meaning that the water cast could make very little headway. However, after the ethereal cast provided the Vespid leaders with custom-made communication headsets, they became suddenly and completely compliant, calmly accepting the total annexation of their culture. Rumors have circulated ever since about the true function of these headsets, but no answer has ever been found from the ethereals. The Vespid's Neutron Blaster Stingwing weapons are a hybrid of Vespid and Tau technology. The crystal mounted upon each blaster emits a powerful neutron blast that is able to bypass all but the most effective of armor. The technology of the Vespid is based around their exotic crystals which are found on the bottom of their floating islands. The ultrasonic sounds emitted by their wings react with these crystals and produce a powerful blast that strips away atoms from their enemies. The Vespid Communication Helm is a piece of armor given to them by the Tau. It allows the Vespids to communicate with each other and other races as well since their language is very complex. Rumors have been said that perhaps this helm is being used to secretly control the Vespid by the ethereals of the Tau Empire. And with that, we have finished our facts and lore on the alien auxiliaries of the Tau Empire's armory. Let me know what you guys thought about this short but sweet informative video. Was there something that I missed? 
or perhaps you guys would like to know more information about other species that have been incorporated into the Tao Empire, just let me know in the comments down below. As always, don't forget to like and comment, and subscribe to this channel for more epic 40k content. You can always head on over to our Patreon page, where a simple dollar a month helps us bring you more epic 40k content. And as always guys, you know me as the Sound Alchemist, part of One Mind Syndicate, and I am signing out. Oh, <laughs>